Only 30 days left until exams. Here is a culmination of all the best tips and tricks that I have for you guys to ace your exams. The video itself will be in three parts with timestamps in the description below so you can skip around and repeat parts as necessary. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and you find it useful. So first of all, of course there are so many options when it comes to doing revision and there's so many different revision methods that work for different people. The best two revision methods that I'd say for you guys to use are flashcards and past papers. And the reason I say this is flashcards allow you to repeat the content and keep doing it over and over again while getting an understanding and then past papers will give you the practice element of it. So if you are struggling with finding a revision method, even though there aren't that many days left until exams, it's still four weeks. So by using flashcards and practice papers, you will be able to ace your exams when it comes to the summer. If you haven't made your own flashcards, places to find flashcards are Physics and Maths Tutor. They're topic by topic and super specific and have everything related to your spec. So if you are thinking about using flashcards, those are the ones to go and use. And then past papers. I say this in every video, but this time I'm seeing it in the first tip. And that is to use them as soon as possible, as soon as you've started doing content. You can do past papers alongside it. You don't have to necessarily wait until the end. Doing past papers alongside will give you that practice, give you that element of doing questions, repeating them, seeing on the mark scheme where you went wrong and then doing them again now, in terms of mindset, always have a positive mindset and a good outlook on how your exams are going to go. You don't want to think that you're going to fail and start manifesting it. As soon as you have the thought that, oh, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail, and you keep repeating in your head, it starts coming true because that's what you yourself believe. So always try and think the best in terms of what is happening with your exams, in terms of your revision. If you don't feel as strong on a subject as another, then think, oh, that might have been a weak paper, but you can always try again on the next paper. Or if you're doing an exam, don't think that, oh, it's not going so well, so you're going to get a bad grade. Sometimes you can end up surprising yourself and what you think you did really badly on, you end up doing quite well on. Also, in terms of your mindset, don't let exams ruin your life because at the end, they come up in every stage of life, but they're not there to overpower your life. And if you do feel like that, you can take a step back from your exams and revision and see and analyze the situation and do what's best for you. That's in terms of mindset. Now for your motivation, if you don't feel motivated to do revision, then you need to work out the source of what your motivation is for doing well in these exams. And ideally, it's something to do with choosing your A-levels, choosing your career, or maybe in the future you just really want to have a specific job and you need to do well in this GC a specific GCSE to do well and get that job in the future. So you just need to find what motivates you. And as this is a super short video, part three is already here and that is all about rest and recuperation. So you want to know what you're going to do after exams, anything you have to look forward to. So I want to go to Alton Towers and that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Another thing I'm looking forward to is just sleeping, spending time with family, spending time with friends, going out, doing things of my own accord, not having to worry about exams, being around the corner and being finished with A-levels. Another thing in terms of rest and recuperation, when you're actually doing your exam, keep a normal routine. Don't overwhelm yourself with revision or trying to cram the content, which never really helps. Don't let exams take over your life you're so much more than that and you can do so well by not stressing on them as much so in terms of rest and recuperation take it slow take it easy in exam season don't stress yourself out too much do an adequate amount of revision but not and yeah just good luck thank you so much for watching this video sorry it was a bit short and rushed because i've been so busy the last few weeks but yeah thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please like share comment and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys next week with a brand new one bye for now